Klaus, uh, we're going to look at chilli peppers. Obviously, we have to grow them inside, but um, kind of real fun thing to do. I, I have a couple of the bushes on the windowsill, and they just look so great, and uh, great fun to use in your cooking. Wh what varieties would you recommend? Oh, there's so many varieties, and I totally agree with you. There's nothing more exciting than growing mm. chilli peppers. So I, I like a variety called Prairie Fire. Right, okay. It grows about that height, and it, mm. last year I had three bushes, mm. and each one had over 100 chilies on it. Yeah. Great. So, um, how are we going to sow them? We'll yeah, I'd the like to first. broadcast sow them in there early in the year. They're very slow growing. Mm. So February, March is the best time. They take a long time to germinate and the warmer they are, the better. Mm. So a really warm windowsill or a propagator like. Yeah. And set it at 21 degrees to come quickly. But okay, even so then really they'll nice take two weeks. Yeah. yeah. They'll fill them up, tap it and then level it again. Why are we broadcast sowing them in a pot and then potting them on yeah. later? They take ages to germinate, so two weeks from sowing to germination. We can put at least 10 to 12 seeds in there. So about two centimetres apart from each other, so that's about 12 seeds. The very important bit is though that you prick them out very early when they're still seedlings, because if the plants get bigger and bigger, the, the roots intertwine, mm. and by you easing them out, you lose a lot of root hairs. Okay. So. As, the smaller, that applies for every vegetable. The smaller they are, the better for pricking out. Okay. Now that compost is only designed for about six weeks of nutrients. I see, yes. Yeah. Perfect for your modular cells. But in a bigger cell, they'll run out of food. They'll have used so if you sow them in there, you get little seedlings coming after two weeks, wait for another week. So in week three, we prick them out. That means you hold them on the cotyledons, the seed leaves, mm. and ease them out gently and Put them in here. Mm. Then they have a completely new lease of life in yeah. those fresh compost. And then they grow much better. So here's some we 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 grew earlier, as they say on TV. And these guys are a little bit leggy. So that's right. And you can really see that's the seed leaves, the cotyledons. Mm. That part should be down there, okay. ground level. So when you prick them out, you can compensate by planting them a little bit deeper. So then we we need to plant these out into a bigger pot. Then they have to stay inside, and you can only grow them in a greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or in a, in a polytunnel. Each chili will produce so many chilies. It's the best plant compared to peppers. You know, you get an awful lot from yeah. them. Again, very simple. All you need to do is plant them. Yeah. They're, 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 they're a small variety. They don't grow too big, so they, they don't need staking even. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you get, probably get 50 to 100 chilies they're per plant. Variety. Yeah. Now you've already put in a little bit of uh, seaweed. That's right. It's all right. prepared. Yeah, so all make a planting hole, throw it in, and then firm it where the root ball is. Quite firm, yeah? yeah? And then mm -hmm. loosen the top. And the test often is to just Pull it a little bit up, just to see if it's firm yeah. enough. That's great. So all nice. we need to do is wait now for a couple of months. From about five plants, we have chilies throughout the year. Uh, it's May now when, when we're planting them. That's about yeah. the best time, really. The best plant, time. Right? Often they're available for sale in April, and it's yeah. they don't like it. You know, they yeah. want the heat and, yeah. the, and the warmth and the long day length. They're flowering. Can you see that? Yeah. So that means we'll have a chili there. They don't like too much water. Ah, right, okay. And what about, obviously they're in the glass house, but pests and diseases, do we have anything to... to They'll get affected by the greenhouse whitefly. Okay. And like the tomato can get. Okay. So Same applies. I spray the garlic nettle spray once a week. Okay. And then chilies, do, do, they, do they need to be fed? Are they, are they quite a hungry plant? No, they're not no. really hungry. Yeah. They're, they're quite small and Probably if you feed them, you'll get less of a taste, less of a fierce fieriness. Oh, okay, of, of right. It. Now, we're in my polytunnel now. We have the chilies here. They're the same variety as we planted in, in Klaus's greenhouse, uh, Navajo. Uh, so they're a medium hot chili. So you can see we've done quite well here. It's very late in the season now. It's December now. So I'm going to be taking this whole plant out and any of the ones left here that are ripening up. They're nice and red there. Uh, I'm going to dry them in the kitchen. I'm going to pick one there. Beautiful colour, isn't it? I suppose you're going to want me to eat one. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'll try one. Good flavour. Of course, the, the, the chilli seeds are the hottest part of it, so if you want to not get too much, I'm going to eat this anyway. Woo! Well, for a medium hot chilli, that's pretty hot. Mmm, <laughs> getting a lot of heat off that now. 
But isn't it great? I mean, a lot of people think that you can't grow chilies. It's something for much, much warmer climates. But if you have a greenhouse or a polytunnel, they grow perfectly well and actually very easy, a lot easier than you think. So we're going to harvest these now and I'm going to bring them into the kitchen to dry.